this is a church that is devoted to the precious little children that the Lord gives us, of such as the kingdom of heaven. We are so grateful for all those who care for the children here and for all of you parents for the trust that you have placed in us to care for these precious little ones. And it is a beautiful thing to hear them sing, isn't it? The Hosannas. Let's stand for the reading of the Word of God. And I'm reading a portion of Matthew 21. Matthew 21, Matthew's account of our Lord's entry into the city of Jerusalem. And reading from the Legacy Standard Bible, And when they had approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied there and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, you shall say, The Lord has need of them, and immediately he will send them. And this took place in order that what was spoken through the prophet would be fulfilled, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, lowly and mounted on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a pack animal. And the disciples went and did just as Jesus had instructed them and brought the donkey and the colt and laid their garments on them, and he sat on the garments. And most of the crowd spread their garments in the road, and others were cutting branches from the trees and spreading them in the road. And the crowds going ahead of him and those who followed were crying out, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he had entered Jerusalem, all the city was stirred, saying, Who is this? And the crowds were saying, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. And Jesus entered the temple. And drove out all who were buying and selling in the temple, and overturned the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who were selling doves. And he said to them, It is written, My house shall be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a robber's den. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the scribes saw the marvelous things which he had done and the children who were shouting in the temple, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David, they became indignant and said to him, Do you hear what these children are saying? And Jesus said to them, Yes. Have you never read? Out of the mouth of infants and nursing babies, you have prepared praise for yourself. This is the word of God. Let's bow together in prayer. Father, we thank you for the reality that you have sent your son and our king into this world. Soon to come again and reign as king of kings and lord of lords and establish his glorious earthly kingdom, and then to reign in the eternal new heavens and new earth. But the first time he came, not to reign, but to die, first to be a redeemer and a savior before he could be a king, to purchase his people, to populate his kingdom. We thank you that the one who received the hosannas that day deserved them and will hear them today from us as we did from the children, and rightly so. But our hearts ache because the world has rejected him. They have crucified him afresh and put him to open shame, even as the Jews and the Romans did. But all that was purposed in eternity past that he might be the redeemer of his people. 
So we rejoice even in the cross and the resurrection because through that comes the good news that Christ has thrown open his kingdom to all who will come to him as the one who died in our place and rose again for our justification. May we join our hearts and our voices to the children and offer our hosannas to our great king. And we would say even with the Apostle John, how long, O oh Lord, how long until you come to reign? Even so, come, Lord Jesus. This we ask for your glory. Amen.